Hi children, welcome to the new academic year. I think all of you are safe at home. I am Prasina, your math teacher. As you all know, the world is passing through a critical condition due to COVID-19. In this situation, no one knows when the world will come back to its normal life. Therefore, our traditional teaching learning activities are not possible. Hence, we have to depend on other methods of learning. However, let's hope for the best and start our class. Shall we go to a topic? From the lower classes, you have learned about three digit numbers, right? Then, which is the largest three digit number? I think all of you know that largest three digit number. Try to remember that. Okay, very good. Largest three digit number is 999. Let's see what happened when we add one to that largest three digit number. All well, if you look at this border. Can you see this number? When we added one to the largest three digit number, you have got a number here. How many digits are there? You count how many digits are there? You know that. One, two, three and four. When we added one to the largest three digit number, you have got a four digit number. Clear? Now can you read this four digit number? Anybody? Try to read. You can do that. No. Look at this number. Can you read this one? Now one of you know that, no? Yes, that is 100. Similarly, there is a name for this number also. Here, ones, tens, hundreds. And this is in thousands place. Which is the number in thousands place? One. So, let's read this number as 1000. Now, you look at the chart. See, here you can see ones place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. How many thousands are there? There is only one. So, you can read this number as one thousand. This word thousand is new for you. So all of you write and study the spelling thousand. How can you read this? All of you read this number once more. Yes, all of you read that. Yes, very good. One thousand. Now look at the board. When we added one to the largest three digit number, you have got thousand. That is a four digit number. So you are going to study about four digit numbers now. Among four digit numbers. Let's study about four digit numbers. You know how to read this. Now I am going to write next number. Who is ready to read this number? Come on. Who is ready to read? Yes, very good. This is known as 2000. Now very simple. What about this one? Yes, come on students. Yes, very good. This is 3000. Going like that. Simple now. Now let's try to read another number. How can you read this number? How can you read this number? Now you look at this one. O means ones place. Now T means tens place. Then H hundreds place. Next is TH that is thousands place. Then very simple. You know how to read this 530. You know that 530. Then one more number in thousands place. Then very simple now. How can you read? 4530. All of you try to read that. 4530. 
Now let's read next number. Look at the board. Can you read this number? All of you try to read this number. Simple, you know. These three digits you can read. You already learned this. Then add this five also. Then how can you read this? Yes, very good. Very good. 5,257. Similarly, you can read any four digit number. Try to read the next number. How can you read this four digit number? All of you try to read this. You can do. Yes, very good. So many students have got the answer, I think. 6,350. I think all of you learned how to read a four digit number. Now from this one, we can say that 1000 is the smallest four digit number. 999 is the largest three digit number. Today, one more point we have got. 1000 is the smallest four digit number. Now next year, we are going to study how to write a four digit number. Yes, we can read this. 6,700. 31 6731 here 1000s place 100s place 10s place and 1s place very simple how many thousands are the 6 that's why i wrote 6 here now how many hundreds are the see 7 hundreds that is why 7 here and 31 10s place 3 1s place 1 Understood. Let's see one more. How can you write 9,325? 9,000. and 25. Yes. How can we write this number? Then we can write thousand. This is short form of thousand. Then hundreds. Then tens and ones. How many thousands are in the question? How many thousands are there? Yes, nine. Let us write nine. How many hundreds are there? Three hundred. So we write three hundreds and next one is twenty-five. Then how many tens are there? Twenty. Then two tens. How many ones? Five ones. So nine thousand three hundred and twenty-five can be written as nine three two five. Clear? Okay. Now let's go to our next topic. See children. When you were in class 1, your teacher has written like this. Standard 1. Correct? When you were in class 2, your teacher has written Right? When you were in class 3, your teacher has written Right now? Now you are familiar with uh, all these numbers. These numbers you are familiar. Now what about these numbers? These numbers are known as Hindu Arabic numerals. You know that. There is a name for these type of numbers also. These type of numbers are known as Roman numerals. Now you are going to study about the basics of Roman numerals. Shall we study the basics? Roman number system. In this Roman number system, we use 
English alphabets to denote the numbers. We use seven English letters to denote Roman numerals. First three letters are I, V and X. These are the first three letters. Using these three letters, you can write all the numbers from 1 to 10. Let's see how can we write the numbers from 1 to 10 using these three alphabets. Suppose you are to write the number 1, then you write I. English alphabet I is used to denote 1 in Roman number system. Now, how to write 2? That is 1 plus 1, no? Then you can write 2 I's. That is I. I. This is 2. Now, 3. We can write 3 I. 3 I. Now, what about 4? I think all of you are ready to say the answer, no? 4. Your answer will be this one. This is your answer, no? But this is wrong. This is not correct. Keep it there. Let's go to next one. 5. 5 is denoted by using the letter V. Simple. We can write 5 using the letter V. Now let's go to 6. 6 is simple. You know 6 is 5 plus 1. 6 is 5 plus 1. 5 is V. And 1 is I. So let's write 6. Similarly 7. 5 and 2. 2 is already here. Now 8, that is 5 and 3, 3 is already here. Now we are going to 9, 9, 9 is just like a 4, let's write that later. Let's go to 10. For writing 10, you can use the alphabet X. Here we used the letters I, V and X. But we did not write the Roman numeral of 9 and 4. Let's see. We know 4 is 5 minus 1. So let's write 5 here. This is 5. Minus 1, that is here. We have to place i to the right of this v. Similarly, you can write 9 also. That is 10 here and 1 here. That is I and X. Once more, let's read the Roman letters from 1 to 10. Look at the chart. You can write down this Roman number system in your notebook neatly. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All of you write the heading Roman number system and copy this neatly in your notebook. Now, in the starting, I said that we have to use seven English alphabets to denote Roman numerals. Here we used only three letters. Now other letters are L, C, G and M. L, C, D and M. L stands for 50 and C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. You can remember this in easy way, LCD monitor. L stands for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. All of you write the notes neatly without any mistake. I think all of you understood this one. Let's wind up the class now. Thank you.